This is Sports Matters with Jerry Collin. Jerry Collin. It's so retro. We cover all the biggest sports on the planet. MMA, boxing, snooker, football, darts. You name it and we cover it. Okay, so welcome to Sports Matters with me, Jerry Collin. I'm joined by one of the greats in Ireland at the moment. Uh, I'm always saying I'm one of the best coaches in the country and worldwide as well. Uh, Coach Owen Roddy, how's things with you? Good, yeah, fantastic, yeah, it's delighted. Uh, um, Dublin's hectic at the moment. Yeah. Bus, bus strikes and all that kind of stuff as well. Oh, Jesus, yeah, it's just taking me. We're all, we're all and now to get across the city, but sure, you got to do what you got to do. Good stuff. Now, just want to talk about when it all starts the first day. Um, I believe you were ready. Yeah. You took it up. Tell us the early days. How did you get involved? Did you always have a knife for MMA? Or was it just something that just um, came from? No, I always, I always liked martial arts. Um, I was always interested in it. Watched Van Damme, Bruce Lee films, the usual. Um, seen UFC 1. Um, and then went looking for a gym. And, you know, luckily enough, I bumped into the kind of the first generation of mixed martial arts guys, which was John Kavanagh, uh, Dave Roach, Andy Ryan. Um, Dave Jones and a couple of other guys and, and they were all trained together and I was just in the right place at the right time. Bumped in with them, uh, into them, started training with them. The rest is history. Yes. Start finds by John and you know had a good successful uh, mixed martial arts career and then became a coach. And your career is fantastic of course, some great fights in Cage Warriors. Mm. Tell us about that first fight. Were you nervous or was it just My you first were fight, um, uh, yeah, I mean my first couple of fights I was very nervous like um, I'm not overly confident or anything like that and, and um, yeah so you, you're worried about your family and friends coming to watch it and stuff like that but one thing I always had was I always knew I would give it everything I used to play football before I done mixed martial arts and I always knew that I would always give it everything I had and if you can, if you do that then you, you can't really lose so, so that was my mentality but Going into most of my fights, I was terrified, nervous, worried. But um, I always just put the chin down and, and, and went forward and gave it a go. And it takes a lot of courage. But tell us, because we know like, the MMA world can be a dark place. There's a mm. lot of you know, blood, sweat, tears going into it. Like, how hard is it? Because like, you, know, you have all the, the, guys, the guys, like I always say, the younger generation will be kind of safe enough if they really want it, they, they'll learn. But for mm. the guys that enter um, at, at a late age, they'll find it a lot harder, obviously. Like any sport, I mean, the, the, the earlier you get started and the longer you do it, the better you're going to get. Um, so, yeah, but I mean, it is, I teach a kids program here and I see this generation of, of kids, um, you know, they're, they're a hundred times better than what I was when, when I started out and it, that's, that's the evolution of the sport, that's why uh, in five or ten years time, you just this sport is just going to be the kids are going to be just unbelievable everywhere. There's going to be no holes in anybody's game, so it's uh, yeah, it's, it's exciting. And you're training a lot of fighters at the moment. What guys mm -hmm. we need to watch out for because you're doing a fantastic job. Yeah, uh, Dylan Chuk was he's full of praise for you. We yeah. spoke to him recently and he was saying like uh, you deserve a lot more credit and you're finally getting it. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. I mean I don't I don't want any credit to be totally honest. Um, the boys put all the work in themselves like Dylan. Yeah, Dylan will be in here in two minutes. He'll be in and he'll spend the night here. And all the Richie Smollin and then over, over in Charlestown, like my guys, like if, obviously Ryan Court has put a pretty successful win over the weekend. Yeah. Dave Fogarty, yeah. really, really high level amateur. And then I've um, Danny Hall, Scott Harvey, Ian Cleary. I've, I've, I literally just looked at a list of 20, 20 fighters. I've one pro. Another one soon to be pro, and then 20 amateurs that are on fire. Like, they could hold their own with any any gym in the world. And, you know, I mean, I could turn them, a couple of them pro, and still, they could still hold their own. So, just just watch uh, SPG Charles Zone, and obviously keep watching SPG Ireland, because, you know, we are the, SPG is the gym to watch at the moment. And from what's coming through, and from what I see in the, in the junior programs, um, we're going to be there for for a long time, without a doubt, you know. I'm loving the videos at the moment. Yeah, the, the videos. It's it's uh, like especially with two or two. Yeah. Seeing the kind of back backroom stuff, like, you know, backstage. You're enjoying that obviously, and it's it's the views are great. We're all waiting for more and more. So. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I just done that by chance. A friend of mine, um, 
Paul Fogarty he sat down, he, he kind of came in and he helped me with my, um, with all the social media and uh, he says you need to do a vlog. Me, I didn't want to do one because I'm, you know what I mean, I wouldn't say I wouldn't be great on the camera around like that. And, uh, I'm stuttering and I'm spending half the time saying eh, 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 <laughs> but people obviously like it because it gives them an insight into what I'm doing, what 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 um what what the life of a coach is and uh, yeah, so I'm getting a lot of great response so I'll keep it going, you know. I, I don't I don't want from uh Bama there and it's it's doing okay and I watched I, it last night. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, Very it's good it's, it's good and then I I have guys of four or five guys fighting on the K one show. In a couple of weeks' time, so I deal with that. And it just gives them, gives gives people that uh, don't know much about mixed martial arts or about mixed martial arts coach. It gives them an insight into my 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 week, my life. You know, so it's good, great fun, man. Yeah? I love it. I like the question here. Do you miss fighting? Yeah, without a doubt. Every time, everybody. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Everybody asks me to miss fighting, and yeah, I, I, without a doubt, I miss fighting. Yeah. Anyway, no, uh, I I wouldn't, you know. Nobody wants to retire, nobody, everybody wants to play forever, but your body won't allow you to do that. It's, you're you're yeah. in good shape, is there any way, um, any way to come, come back? No, come yeah. fight, no, 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 I mean, Jesus, the, I've, I've got numerous offers to come back and stuff like yeah. that. And you know what, you know, my, my time has passed now, so you've got to accept that. Like, everybody's time will eventually pass, but, um, and um, the worst thing you can do is keep hanging on because if you fight too long in, in, into your career, into your life, you're going to do more damage than good. Um, so, you know, I was happy with what I'd done. I would have liked to fight in UFC. Didn't happen. Yeah. That's that's life. But every time I go and watch a show, every time I see kids spar or fight, or, I'm like, oh, I'd love to do it. Give me give me one like I actually went in and sparred my guys there a couple of weeks ago. And, you know, I was like, Jesus, actually, I'm kind of glad that I don't fight anymore because the kids are so good these days. But um, yeah, yeah no, we do miss it, without a doubt. And uh, the best one is uh, I asked John a couple of years ago, kind of a year or so after we retired. I says, when does that that want go? You know, the want to fight. When when does it leave you? And it doesn't. He says to me, it doesn't. He says, I want to. I'd love to jump in the cage myself now. Like, and that's just something you have to deal with. But you get a little bit of satisfaction out of. Um, out of watching, the kids yeah, watching, yeah. watching your, your 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 students fight and compete, and you know, you know, watching the juniors, you know, progress and get better at their techniques. So, you know, I just have to ask you because obviously we're all big MMA fans here and there. Mm -hmm. What's it like walking out with Connor? Because I've been, I was yeah. at the the Mendes fight. I was yeah. at the first DS fight. Yeah, and like, it's it's. It's like nothing I've ever experienced in my life. Like I've walked out my own fights in, in, in front of a couple of thousand people and it's great, but it's different. It, it kind of really has the nation behind them and people are just so passionate about it. Like, you know, when people spend their, their, you know, what they've saved all year to come up and just watch him, you know, fight for him. Yeah, most of the time it's a fourth round knockout, you know, but he just has that, that thing about him that people want to, just want to be around them, and when you're walking out and you you hear people, that amount of people, excuse me, screaming, and you feel, you can feel the sound. It's not that you can hear it; you can hear it. It's deafening, but you can feel the the the, the, the sound. Oh, actually, you know what I mean? It's amazing. You know what I mean? And, uh, I've got every, the, I've got the tingles like because you know what I mean. It's just one of the things when the, the team comes on, and you know yourself, John and Connor are there. Yeah. And I heard him like, and he just walk out like, and I literally just get tingles. When I was there, like, it was yeah. at the last, it was, I think it was might, it might have been the last UFC at the MGM. Yeah. Um, and it's just, boom, you just, it just comes, it's like a shock. Yeah. Right? But everybody's all, we're all in this together, you know. It's like, um, everybody's proud. Okay. So Owen, thank yeah. you very much. No Amazing brother. Thank Pleasure. You so much. Yeah. Nice, yeah. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. Cheers. Oh, Check out all the latest interviews with Jerry and the Stairs weekly on Sports Matters.